This topic is titled Minimum Spanning Trees and basically what we're trying to do is to minimize the weight and amount of edges on a network diagram. Now this is really important in real life because it increases productivity and it cuts costs. A good example of this would be an electricity company. They need to connect towns to the electrical grid but they want to use the least amount of wires to save them in costs. Now if we look at the network diagram below, the vertices might represent the towns and the edges might represent the electrical wires. Now the question is, have they used the least amount of electrical wires? For example, if we look at town D, would that have been better connected to G instead of to C? Because it looks a bit shorter from D to G, maybe saving them costs in electrical wires. Anyway, we're now going to talk about what are known as trees. A tree is a graph where every vertex is connected, but contains no loops, multiple edges, or cycles. So we'll look at the diagram below. We have some vertices, and we're going to try and connect them. Now we need to make sure every single vertex is connected and we don't want to have any loops or multiple edges. We'll talk soon about what that is, or cycles as well. All right, so you'll notice that every single vertex is connected by an edge. So why do we not want any loops? Well, a loop is something like this. And if you think back to the example of an electrical company, what's the point in making a loop? That's just a waste of wires. What else do they not want? They don't want multiple edges. For example, let's say this is vertex A and vertex B. Multiple edges means connecting the same two vertices by two edges. That, once again, is a waste of wires. There's no need to have more than one set of electrical wires connecting towns. It also says we don't want cycles. Let's label some more vertices. Let's label this town D and town C, a cycle would be where we connect town D to town C, the cycle being that we have a cycle between C, A and D. Once again, this is a waste of wires since towns D and C only really needed to be connected to town A. In fact, a loop can also be regarded as a cycle and multiple edges also can be regarded as a cycle as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this back into a tree by getting rid of our loop and also getting rid of our cycle and getting rid of our multiple edges. Now when we look at the tree, you will notice that we have how many vertices? One, two, three, four, five, six vertices six vertices and we'll count the edges one two three four five edges and one thing you'll notice when you look at a tree is it will have one less edge than the number of vertices i've written it down below one less edge than the number of vertices now if n represents the number of vertices then the number of edges is just n minus one Anyway, that concludes our video introducing trees. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.